Okay, you guys, so today is December 1st, the first day of the best month of the year, in my opinion. I love this month. My mom's birthday is in this month. My birthday is in this month. Christmas is in this month. It's just the month for me. Like, I just love it so much. I feel like this is the month where it's so much fun. And the holidays have always been like my favorite. Favorite. I've always been like a major Christmas lover like just the whole feeling of Christmas is the best to me And no matter what you celebrate, I'm sure you can you feel the same way about the holiday season I feel like it's just such a special time of year and it really brings like a great feeling in your heart And I just really mean that like honestly, it's not about the gifts. It's not about getting stuff It's just about being with people you love and this like really cozy homey feeling that it brings along So that's why I love the holiday season of course there is a gift aspect to the holiday season so in today's video I wanted to show you guys like some of my favorite things that I've been loving recently so that maybe if you're looking to buy people things or you're looking for something to put on your wish list you can maybe take some inspiration from this video so we've just got a vlog today a very chill just a day in my life I'm gonna show you guys some things I've been loving we're gonna chat we're gonna have a good time I'm also gonna show you how I decorated for Christmas because I did that actually I decorated for Christmas a couple weeks ago. I was having a really bad day and my best friend Colleen came over and we decorated for Christmas and it really just lifted my spirits and I literally decorated like two weeks before Thanksgiving. Even if you can't afford to like splurge on decorations for your room or anything like that, at least just get like a couple things. You can even make things for Christmas. Like you, there's so many ways that you can add like just some holiday spirit into your space. So I really recommend doing that. I didn't have much money to spend on my room but my mom actually had a bunch of leftover decorations that she wasn't using so I took a lot of those and just put them in my room so yeah I want to show you guys how I decorated my space for Christmas so here is what we have got so you, obviously you come in and you just have to look at the tree um my sister actually bought me this tree it's from i believe we got it at michael's yeah michael's it's very very pretty because it's flocked so it really gives it like just a nice wintry feel like it's I don't know, snowed on or something. So I put a few ornaments on here. We've got this pretty little moon. My sister got that for me. My mom had these in our decoration box, so I just snagged them. My sister made this little beaded garland. She's very DIY-ish like that. I don't know really even what she did. I think she just bought the beads and then bought some string and hooked them up. Um, we've got a little cute star. We've got an avocado toast and I think that's it I think it's just very simple and the perfect amount of ornaments. It really adds so much happiness to the room like when I'm in here at night um, when I'm in my bedroom at night and I have my lights off and just the tree on and I'm like watching TV in my bed It is the most cozy feeling that you can possibly imagine. It's the nicest thing in the whole world so I tr truly recommend get a tree if you can like just do it because it's just the best so over here i just added a little snowman guy right there in front of my cork board and then i just put a little merry christmas sign i got this last year i think at like big lots or something and then over here so hiding behind my blinds i have these little snowmen and that i just think are the cutest little things and then I have this little tree this was three dollars at the Target dollar section this little snowman I think is so cute it was my mom's and it's a little pine cone snowman um, I just have a little candle set up there so this bench was actually where the tree was but I moved it for now so I think that this looks super cute honestly I might just leave the bench here year-round but I'm not sure yet but basically on this little bench I just put this little book and then it actually opens up I don't keep anything in it, but it opens up. And then I just put a little Santa right there. I think it looks very cute. Over here, ignore my skincare. I was doing my skincare earlier. But over here, I just have this little tree. Um, I think it's very pretty. I wanted to keep this area very simple, so I think that's actually the only objects I have for Christmas on this area. This is my nightstand. So I bought these decorations last year at Target at the dollar store at the dollar section I mean this one was five dollars and this one was also five dollars so very good little buys there so a Christmas tree and a little house um, and then down here I just put this candle in this little like Christmassy holder this is the other nightstand I just put some decorations that my mom had that she wasn't using so two little like 
Santa and snowmen with their feet hanging off. I think it's really cute. And then just a little tree with some little ornaments. Last but not least, you just have the bed area. So I just really, my goal with the room is just to keep everything as simplistic as I can. Um, so I just hung this little garland that my mom had, hung it like that, and then up here. So I got the shelf a couple weeks ago, and I just, my dad just hung it for me this past weekend. Um, it's a very cute shelf. I haven't really decorated it yet, but for Christmas, I just have those little trees right there. Those are also from the dollar section of Target, and then I haven't even put a picture in there yet, but I have to figure out what I want to do with that. So that is the room for now. Like I said, my main goal with this bedroom is to keep it very simple and like minimalistic because I don't really like clutter although this shelf area that I'm looking at in front of the windows is very cluttery right now which I don't love so I kind of want to tweak it a bit but for now it will do so since the holidays are coming they're right around the corner I'm sure sure a lot of you guys are like trying to buy things for people trying to figure out what to get people I know for me it's super hard to figure out what the heck to get anyone it's always easier for me to know what I like or what I want um I feel like that's just the case for literally anyone so I wanted to show you guys some things that I have really been liking, some new things that I've got, just things that I think would make great gifts, or if you're looking for something for yourself, then it's perfect too. I just bought these shoes. They are just like loafer style shoes, I think they're called. They're from Target. I really like them because they have the fur inside. Um, and these I just needed because I'm always looking for like a flat type of shoe that's not a sneaker. These are basically a hit or miss for people. I feel like some people hate them. Some people love them, but I personally really like them. I think that they're adorable and they just, I feel like they add a little bit to an outfit. Even like today's outfit, I feel like they would just look super cute. This robe I've had for a really long time. You guys have probably seen it in my videos, but I know that it, I think it might be on sale right now i don't know if it still is but I, it was definitely on sale this is just a robe from target it's one of my favorite things from target that i own it's very 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 comfortable they actually make the pajama version of this as well they make a long sleeve version and a short sleeve version um so that's super cute too the last thing i'm going to show you guys right now i'm going to show you guys things throughout the whole video but right now i'm just going to show you another pair of shoes these are bear paws so i really wanted a short pair of Uggs like this and then I was like Uggs are literally a hundred dollars and I just don't need to spend a hundred dollars when I could literally buy bear paws and they're just as comfy and I think they're just as cute um I just love this color I think it adds so much to an outfit and it's just cozy like if you're wearing my my ideal look with this would be like active wear like leggings um sports bra little workout sweatshirt or something and then these it's just very nice if you go to the gym or something these are perfect to throw on that is it for right now i'm gonna show you guys everything periodically throughout the whole video so i actually have some pretty exciting news to share with you guys um i actually got a new job as a assistant preschool teacher and i'm super excited about it the preschool is right up the road from me my aunt it's actually her sister that owns the preschool so um obviously i I have had kind of like a whirlwind of career paths if you will <laughs> um, I've had kind of like a hard time figuring out exactly what it is I want to do you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while I started right after high school I went to cosmetology school didn't like it had kind of a rough experience with the class and then I I, I took a little break for a little while five months and then I went to makeup school in New York City and I loved it but when I really started to do makeup um, like when I started doing clients and stuff, it was something that actually gave me a lot of anxiety and it was something that made me super uncomfortable and nervous kind of in a sense because I wasn't super confident in it and I, I felt like it really wasn't for me. Um, I do love makeup but not in a way anymore where like I want to do that for a living and I want to like make that my life's work. It's just not where what I want to do kind of like stepped away from that and then this year when COVID happened I really found a love for working out and like eating healthy and so that's when I started the nutrition course and the personal training course and then 
I my eating disorder got really bad and I realized that taking a course learning about basically like how to lose weight and how to help people lose weight was very triggering for me and I didn't even notice it really until I started my eating disorder recovery that's when I really noticed it and I was like I can't be doing this like this is not what I meant to do and it's just something that when you're like I was learning about it all day. I was sitting down in the computer reading about food and reading about how to lose weight and it was like enabling my eating disorder to think that what I was doing was okay and it just wasn't right for me and it's okay I think. We get in our head and we think that we have to know exactly what we want and we have to start something and we have to follow through to the end but if you are like halfway through something and you realize it's not for you like that's okay and even if you follow through to the end and then a year later you realize it's not for you, that's okay because you are the writer of your own story and you get to change whenever you want. Like if it isn't making you happy, then don't do it. That's my opinion. And I know other people might have different opinions about that, but that's my personal opinion. If something isn't making you happy, if something's not fulfilling you every single day, it's not for you. So now I'm trying to explore a different option. Mostly just looking for a job. I need something to do with my time. I need to get out into the world. I need to put myself out there and try to figure out what I want to do. Um, so that's why I took this job and I'm super excited about it. And I've nannied and babysat for years and years since I was like 15, 16 years old. I really enjoyed that and that was something that I always loved was nannying and babysitting. So I do really enjoy being around kids. So I I think it's gonna be super fun i'm super excited about it so basically i've been filling out a bunch of paperwork um for that the past couple days just trying to get everything in tomorrow i have to get fingerprinted for like the quarry test um to make sure my background is clear and all that so and then i should be starting probably within a couple days after tomorrow so hopefully maybe this week or maybe next week i want to show you guys some clothes that i bought for this job um so i asked about dress code and i asked you know like what type of what's the dress code here because I didn't I don't really know like what I've never been in this field before so I didn't know and she said that basically it's just very like casual and comfortable because you'll be like picking up kids you'll be moving around like up and down all day cleaning I went to Target and I just picked out a few things that were kind of like inexpensive just to get a few more different things to my wardrobe because a lot of my clothes are like ripped jeans as you can see um and then like i have a lot of like cropped stuff so i wanted to get stuff that was a little bit more like work attire so first i just picked out this little cardigan um i really like this color this is like my favorite color it's like just beige nude this was actually on sale for 12 dollars. it was originally 24 so i was like ooh, and i liked this little detail in the back it was like this little Thing. super cute um i feel like this could be really cute with jeans or leggings and it would cover like the butt area and stuff because that was actually i think in the dress code requirements is like you just have to be like covered up and stuff also got just a plain t-shirt i feel like this would be really cute with jeans this was only five dollars i really like this color too it's like a grayish green in a way and i just thought it was very cute this i got for over under a cardigan or like a jacket um obviously i would have to wear a tank top under it because it's see-through but it's just very casual and comfortable it was only four dollars on sale from eight so it was four dollars off i thought this was really nice and then lastly these were not on sale but I've been wanting these in my wardrobe for actually a long time so I was like okay it's time to just make the splurge these are just some joggers um these can really be dressed up I feel like they look they look presentable in my opinion um they're just kind of like little workout joggers but you can really wear these with like like a nice shirt and like some nice flats or a nice pair of sneakers and really make it look presentable so I just thought these would really be cute I like the little scrunch detail up top i thought these are very nice and perfect for work or just like hanging out at home i think i'm gonna make myself some lunch because it's 12 30 and i didn't have a morning snack so i need to do that okay are you guys ready to see our christmas tree i have to show you guys because it's so cool ah! <laughs> oh my god it's giant we got a 12 foot tree because we have these literal ginormous ceilings in here look at this tree i love it so much <laughs> look at them 
Um, it looks so pretty at nighttime. It's just, I love it so much. It's kind of like always been a dream of mine to have these one of these giant trees because I've seen it in like movies and TV shows and it's just so pretty. Right, Max? What? Who's that? Say hi. Say hi, camera. Hi, YouTube friends. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> I am just drinking some kombucha. Um, this is watermelon kombucha. I don't even know what the benefits to kombucha are. People say it's good for you and that it has benefits, so I don't know, but it's really good in my opinion. It's definitely something you need to acquire a taste for because first time I ever had it, I was like, ooh, I thought it was nasty, but now I really like it and they have different flavors. My birthday is in 10 days, so that is very cool and nifty. I'm gonna be 21 years old. Probably really not gonna do anything for it because um, of corona and all of that jazz. I'm probably just gonna hang out at home or maybe go out for dinner or something like that. I don't know, nothing, nothing crazy. Going to water my plant. I just watered my plant for the first time. I don't have like a plant to water, so I had to use this cup and it was just spilling everywhere. So hopefully, um, I got a couch actually. So basically in our new house, my bedroom is in the basement and then there's a little living room out here. So it's kind of like my space. Um, so we got a couch, I got a chair. I'll show you guys in a little bit. I have to pick it up a little bit, but this is the couch and it's very comfortable. Um, I love it a lot. I wanted to show you guys a couple products that I think are super amazing. I actually showed these products to you guys in a former vlog. Maybe my last vlog, I can't remember. It was some makeup products that I had got because I switched everything out to clean makeup products. But I wanted to show you guys which ones that I've been loving now that I've been using them a lot. First of all, this mascara is my favorite. This is the Honest Beauty mascara this brand is by jessica alba they have really great products this was like i think eight dollars really cheap and it comes with a lash primer and then uh mascara on this side um and i really really like this mascara because of the wand it's like a long wand and i think that those do a really nice job with the lashes making them look longer also really been liking the honest beauty blush this is in the shade coral peach i really like peachy blushes um i showed this to you in the last vlog i've really been liking my kosas beauty concealer it's very like watery which i really like definitely just set this down with a powder if you're going to use it because it does crease but it's really nice and it is very covering and then my last recommendation for you guys would definitely definitely be this kosas beauty tinted face oil what okay <laughs> always throwing things. This is really great product. It's very natural. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. It's very glowy. I'm gonna do some laundry because I need to do laundry really bad. Um, <laughs> just watching my girl Sarah here on the TV. Go subscribe to her YouTube channel right now if you are not. She is the best. She is my friend and I've met her through YouTube and she's just amazing. She's like the closest friend I've made through YouTube and she's just the sweetest. She just got married so go check out her channel. I'll link it below for you guys. She's awesome. She's doing Vlogmas which I am not doing so props to her because that takes a lot of dedication and hard work. Anyway, I'm gonna do some laundry. Um, I'm gonna bring my laundry upstairs and let's get Let's get cracking with this rest of this day. It is now 1.54. Okay guys, here is my lunch. So I got my Cajun chicken wrap sandwich. It also came with Cape Cod chips. And then we had this um, Panera broccoli cheddar soup in the fridge. So I wanted to have some of that. I saved the other half of my sandwich to have for lunch tomorrow, so. Then I got my kombucha and I'm watching Ava Jules. She just released her first day of Vlogmas, so I'm super excited to sit down, enjoy some food, and watch YouTube. Just wanted to show you guys what the room looks like at night. Isn't it so cute and cozy? Oh, I just love it so much. The tree is 10 out of 10 purchase right there. I, everybody needs one in their life. It's so cute.